Hey, it's Hawken with Shotgun Diagnostics. So, uh, just wanted to show you guys something, an idea that I had had, uh, that I have now pitched to Top Don, and also to Kyrian, who makes the N2 Neuron, which, uh, many of you may have already, and, uh, I thought about something that might actually be a really good combination. So, Top Don has the new TC003, which is a thermal camera, on an Android platform, which is essentially like a large phone. I thought, because the Neuron works really well with a Android device, perhaps a thermal imager combined with the N2 could actually make a really powerful combinational tool. Something that you would be able to do very quick diagnosis, uh, finding information very quickly, taking pictures for inspections. This also has a tripod mount on the TC-003, uh, which would obviously be great if you were trying to uh, log data or things of that nature. You could screw it onto the tripod. Uh, you could also use this for thermal imaging to get a basically a temperature graph over time, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration of what the combination kind of looks like. So I'm going to take my N2, and I use the Devo leads. Uh, the Devo leads set seems to be the highest quality lead set I have run across. Um, they seem to generate very little noise in the signal and create really high quality waveforms. So, we're going to go ahead and power up the TC003 here. It looks like our battery is a little low, but we still should be able to uh, run the app pretty effectively. So we're going to go ahead and take it here. I've installed the app on here. And we're going to sync the meter. Now you can turn the, uh, you can turn the Curian app into a landscape format like this. And then you can use it on a screen that's horizontal instead of vertical like a telephone or a cell phone. So we're just going to hook everything up here and just do a couple of quick checks so that you can kind of see how well this works. Now, Top Don again is talking with Kyrian about making this a cooperative project so that you could get your N2 and your uh, TC003 potentially together as a combined tool uh, right from the factory. So uh, anyhow, we're going to do something simple here. We're just going to hook up, get my clamps out here, and we're going to hook up to <clears throat> just the battery so you can see it's a couple of quick things. All right, so we're connecting up our clamps here, and we're going to go ahead and clamp on to battery positive. Whoops, if I can get the clamp to stay. There we go. And clamp on to battery negative. And, <clears throat> got a nice stable signal there, 12.75 volts at the battery. Now, we're going to switch into thermal imaging mode. We're going to pretend like we have a battery draw. Now, if I go turn the key on engine off, it will actually power up some stuff on the car, which will simulate what a battery draw might look like because of course we will have fuses active and you can hear the throttle body going through its adaptations. So now we should have some fuses and relays getting hot. So we're going to go ahead and take the TC003 and turn on thermal imaging. Make sure our camera is nice and clean here. It is. Look at that, we can already see a thermal image of the engine. Oh look, there's something kind of warm down there. Wonder what that could be, right? That is actually the clip that I had recently picked up of all things. So the thermal imager is so sensitive it can literally still see the clip that I recently had in my hand. That's pretty crazy, right? So we're going to go over to the battery. You can see the battery is a little bit warmer uh, than everything else. I'm going to go over to the fuse block and we'll overlay this image on the video here when we're done.
We can change all of the uh, color schemes so we can highlight what we want more effectively. Now this is the fuse block here that you're seeing. A little bit hard to pick up on the camera there directly, but you can see we have a lot of different settings we can play around with here. Now I like to use, personally, uh, the red hot scheme is pretty good. Otherwise, uh, this one, the red, or the, the rainbow high contrast, that one's real good. <coughs> now, as this vehicle starts to sit here just a little bit longer, obviously the temperature is going to rise on the fuses and the relays, so we're going to get a little bit better contrast. So we'll give it a second here. So I'm going to relaunch the thermal app here. Now there's some other settings you can change. You can use uh, higher detail, increase the detail of your image on the uh, thermal camera, which is pretty cool. So you can go here to details, right here, and you can confirm that, increase the detail level. Look at that. That's the PCV heater that's actually lit up really bright right now. So you see the battery over on the right side and the PCV heater right there. Look real close, you can see that. So the thermal imager combined with the N2 is a really cool combo uh, that I think is going to make a great product. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. Is this a tool that you would find a lot of value in? Uh, again, for me, I think this is a tool that could have a ton of value in the field. Uh, it could do a lot of great things with this. But I'd like to hear what you think and, uh, you know, find out is this something that you would use on a regular basis if you had access to the N2 in addition to a thermal imager all in one device for quick electrical analysis, draw tests, things of that nature. Uh, again, I think there's a lot of value in this and I think it could be a great product, but I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. So let me know.